So Margaret, this is the dough we use to make our runza sandwiches, and this is what we call the production part of the day, runza. Mm -hmm. We're making runza sandwiches, we've got cabbage cooking over there, we have onion rings being made over in the other corner. And this is a typical day of runza, which we call production, making a, a large share of our products in the morning from scratch. Yeah. So, we get to work with a lot of flour, we get them get a little messy in the morning, which is a lot of fun. How early do people... You know, yeah. it, it's not as early as you might think, probably around 7, 38 or 8 a.m. Oh, wow. Someone will come in to make the uh, doughs and we'll let them rise for about an hour and then we'll start rolling them out here, which is what we're doing here. So, it's a pretty simple process and again, it's, it's kind of like making cookies or making anything else out of dough. Uh, you form the dough into the shape that you uh, require for that given product. In this case, it's runs of sandwiches. So, just got to make sure the dough is real loose on the table. And we have a piece of machinery called a dough sheeter that we run this product through. We'll see if I don't get it stuck. Now we've got it flattened out to a size that's more appropriate for making a run to sandwich. And this is our cookie cutter. Uh, we do this in the shape of an appropriate size for a run to sandwich. So, pretty simple process. This feels like a newer cutter because it uh, doesn't cut quite as easily, but Anyway, so then we bring our footballs over here. This is the special uh, special mix of ingredients, ground beef, cabbage, cabbage, onions, and special spices baked inside homemade bread. And has the recipe changed at all since your grandmother started it? You know, it hasn't really changed. We've changed a little bit of the process yeah. of how we um, cook the meat and the cabbage. Yeah. But it's all the same ingredients and all the same um, special spices. Those are those are unique to to our sandwich and, and you know the idea is that we want the sandwich to taste the same as yeah. it did 60 some years ago and so all we do then is wrap the dough around this filling gotcha. yeah you bet so the key you don't want to stretch the dough too much otherwise you get thin spots so you just want to have it meet right at the top and then pinch with these these fingers right here and then at the end, you just bring the dough together, pinch it up. Then I always turn the seam onto the bottom and it helps seal it so it's not exposed to air. And there you go, you have a run the sandwich. Um, okay, so we pull out the pan. These are what we bake the runzas in, it's just an aluminum pan. And we just shape them like a runza. So we'll start out by just lengthening a little bit again not not pulling but just squeezing yeah so you get it into maybe a seven inch um, length and then we just pan it in the runs of pan like that and we put seven in each pan just keep putting them in next to each other see how you do <laughs> so anyway that's what a standard um, pan of runzas looks like and then we refrigerate them and pull them out as needed and we bake them in our convection oven as business dictates. It's not rocket science but it is something that's hand-eye coordination and it takes some time to practice your skills. <laughs>